I'm a garbage woman, a garbiologist. While solid waste management may not be in the headlines every day, it's actually an exciting time to be a garbiologist. I'm an applied researcher and an environmental engineer, and I have been working in the consultancy for over 16 years, helping pushing promising technologies into practices in countries all over the world. I could choose to talk to you today about the latest theories in waste management being practiced, but I don't want to wait 20 years till theory turns into application. We need to implement what we know now because Africa is urbanizing faster than any other region except Asia, and this is exaggerating the problem of waste management. While accurate waste data in Africa is scarce, about 62 million tons of municipal solid waste is being produced annually. And this figure is to triple by 2025. As the trend towards urbanization increases and cities become more dense, improper solid waste management can be devastating in the short and long term. Complications such as air pollution, flooding, spread of infectious diseases, and respiratory illnesses arise. This figure shows you the evolution in waste management worldwide. It's like crawling, standing, and walking. These stages of development have to be followed sequentially. It starts with the open dump sites and the sanitary landfills and ends up with complex technologies to produce liquid fuels. Most developing, most advanced countries, developed countries, have reached stages four or five. Stage six is in line with the national plans for the production of liquid fuels. Unfortunately, most advancing countries, including African countries, are still at stages one or two, open dump sites and sanitary landfills. In 2005, I helped design and build a solid waste treatment and disposal facility in Egypt that received 2,000 tons per day of mixed municipal solid waste from South Cairo. This was an effort that moved South Cairo treatment facility from stage two to stage three, meaning that we were able to implement a preliminary sorting process to separate the organic fraction from the inorganic fraction. We were able to compost 45% of the waste that's coming into the landfill, into the treatment facility. This is the organic portion. The remaining 55% that goes into this facility was unfortunately still disposed in the landfill. In 2011, Egypt faced a huge energy shortage. Energy intensive industries had to lower their production rate. And even residential districts were hit by light that was cut off daily for a couple of hours. That's when I realized that 25% of the waste, that, of the so-called waste that goes to the landfill is an energy rich fraction that if separated and treated could be used as an alternative fuel for energy intensive industries such as cement industries. Using a mechanical biological treatment system, we applied this to the South Cairo facility. Today, we sell the solid fuel to cement industries and the facility is at stage four. We later replicated this model in Sudan, Libya, and other Asian countries. Africa's municipal solid waste is more or less the same as in Egypt, Sudan, and Libya. Mostly 53% is organic fraction. Unfortunately, 80% of this waste is being disposed in open dump sites. So I ask myself every day, how can we accelerate the science-based development of solid waste management and services in, in Africa? And the answers are too many. Too many to talk about in eight minutes. But I will share with you one new concept that I think is part of the solution. In the example I just told you about in South Cairo, we were able to convert the waste that should have gone to the landfill into fuel. Most of you would call, would call, that, what, would call that recycling, but this is not recycling. If you are a biologist like me, we look at cycling in three levels. 
recycling, and this means that you are converting the waste materials into materials of the same quality. Downcycling, and this means, this is what most people would call recycling, but this is not. Actually, the material loses quality while being reused. An example is converting waste books into just newspapers. The material is losing quality on its way to the landfill or the incinerator. Most of you have practiced upcycling at home. Upcycling is the creative modification of discarded objects in such a way to create a new product of higher quality or level towards the end of the innovation scheme. It is a deep-rooted human collection behavior. But while we do upcycling at home level, one of the transformative opportunities is to reimagine what can be done if we upcycle waste at a large scale. In an upcycling economy, you cannot throw anything away because there is no way. Upcycling is how the world gets better instead of just as bad. Mechanical biological treatment is an ideal example of upcycling. We were able to produce, produce both compost-based organic fertilizer as well as alternative fuel. There are many examples of waste upcycling. You can upcycle the, the agricultural waste into biochemicals. You can turn the plastic waste to textiles. You can upcycle the glass into concrete aggregates. So it can be applied on different types of waste. This is part of the solution to address the municipal solid waste problem in Africa. But to really address this problem correctly, we need to build a comprehensive framework of solid waste management to design and implementing solutions. We need a Pan-Africa framework, building on our current knowledge and proven and enriched by case studies. Different experts from different countries would share which technologies work, which technologies do not work, and why. This is one of the challenges why I founded the Solid Waste Management Center of Excellence, the first of its kind in Egypt at Ain Shams University. I'm very proud to say that this $1.8 million center is fully granted by African money, in particular by the Egyptian <laughs> Ministry by the Egyptian Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. The center has academic as well as industrial partners. It has the state-of-the-art equipment in waste characterization, treatment, and disposal. I work with a fantastic group of researchers and postdocs. We, we, we develop new technologies for the, for, the, for the treatment of solid waste. We disseminate our knowledge through hosting conferences and through publications. And most impo importantly, we implement what we have learned. Thank you.